let's just say the Vikings loved their fat, and hence they had the worst food habits ever. The Viking Age was not a time when people were concerned about the fat content of their meals. The Vikings needed all the fat energy they could obtain, especially in the cold. It was a requirement for survival due to their climate and the difficulty of collecting food. But why was their food habits the worst? What is their most popular food? Before we get into the video, go grab a snack because this video will make you hungry for sure. Meat, fish, vegetables, grains, and dairy products were all staples in their diet. Berries, fruit, and honey were enjoyed as sweet foods. The Vikings were frequently regarded as gluttonous in England. According to the English, they ate and drank excessively. This video mainly focuses on their weather conditions and the reasons that they had terrible cooking and preserving conditions. Throughout the Viking Age, housekeeping had to be planned and adapted to the changing seasons. The average Viking was self-sufficient, as he was a farmer with domestic animals and fields of crops. There were also folks who did not produce all of their food and had to purchase it. The blacksmith or fisherman had to use methods of purchase and trade to get food. And it is absolutely necessary that no one eats to sustain as their daily activities would involve pillaging towns and touring Norway's beautiful fjords. You're going to need a lot of energy to keep going. This entails eating some amazing meals to maintain optimal health with such an active lifestyle. Plant remnants and bones discovered through archaeological investigations of decomposing deposits, post holes, fires, and waste layers are a far richer source of information about the Viking kitchen. A traditional Viking supper is depicted in the poem about Harbard and Thor. Thor tries to pursue Harbard, a fairy man disguised as Odin, to transport him across a sound. Ferry me across the sound and I'll feed you tomorrow. I'm carrying a basket and the food has never been better. I ate herrings and oatmeal in privacy before leaving the house so I'm still full. How frequently did Vikings eat? Vikings, unlike modern Norwegians, only ate two meals every day. These were referred to as dogmal and notmal respectively, which indicated a day meal and a night supper. Both meals would be identical because there was little diversity of food available in Norway owing to the cold winter temperatures and poor farming techniques. There would also be Viking feasts held on the occasion to commemorate certain holidays or big events such as marriages and the end of successful raids. If these feasts were thrown by a Viking household of middling proportions, they would include plenty of traditional cuisines. If these feasts were hosted by a rich Viking household, however, uncommon and endemism-prone items like brunost, brown cheese, and wine might occasionally emerge. The most popular Viking foods Fresh food was typically offered as part of the notmal and consisted of stewed vegetables and meat. Because the Vikings lived on the Norwegian shore, many of their meat alternatives were various sorts of fish. These delicacies would subsequently be accompanied by copious amounts of mead or ale. Whatever proportions of the meal were not consumed were then kept aside and stored in a cooler section of the house, because refrigeration technology had not yet been invented to be reheated and eaten for dogmal the next morning. As a result, the dogmal would mostly consist of leftover stew with bread, generally baked rye bread and various types of fruit such as cloudberries. The Vikings' food preparation As previously stated, the Vikings were not capable of refrigerating or freezing meals. This made obtaining enough food to last them the full year more challenging, as the weather in Norway made growing crops and rearing animals extremely tough for about a third of the year. As a result, they needed to find alternative means to ensure that they had enough food to survive through the hard winters. The Vikings were able to do this by pickling a large portion of their diet. Many of their fruits and vegetables were pickled, allowing them to keep for up to six months without spoiling. These methods would allow them to avoid having to go out and obtain new food supplies for as long as possible. Fortunately, there were plenty of meat options in the vicinity including cows, pigs, reindeer, and bears. There was also a thriving fishing industry on which most Vikings relied significantly. As a result, hunting and collecting expeditions to obtain additional meat would take place roughly once a week, 
and practically every component of the animal would be used after it was returned, either for food or for various tools and supplies. The Vikings were able to feed themselves with a generally well-balanced diet that allowed them to explore and pillage with ease by combining plant food preparation with a significant dependence on fish and vegetables. So what did you think about the Vikings meal? Would you ever try it? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you in our next video. Have a great day!